Hello, this is Air Engine Research Channel. Um, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're a first time looker, I hope that you'll be interested in what we're doing and subscribe and join with us in the future for comments and suggestions. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about two of the engines that I tried to build. And the first one is a three cylinder engine that I've had on a few videos, but for any new people, I will go ahead and show just a short amount of the video just to let you see what it what it is, and then we'll go into some of the drawings and some of the costs that would be involved in trying to build one if you had machine work done on it. I did all the work myself, and I managed to get it to where it would run and and worked okay. It's not perfect, but, you know, it runs. So I'll go ahead and show you a short part of that video and then talk some more about it. So as you could see, the thing did vibrate somewhat, but not that bad really because I was able to just support it a little bit with my finger and then holding on to the air valve uh, did, did okay also. Um, this is kind of one of the drawings. I'm, I don't have the originals anymore because of my computer crash that I had and I had to make some pictures of some of the paper drawings that I have, but they at least give you an idea of, you know, what the number of parts and things would be in there and some of the costs on them. The design of it is made such that I'm using three cylinders on the plate but you could put six on it by just adding a cylinder on the other end of the drive. And it does have two plates, an upper and a lower plate, that are supposed to make it balanced. It could possibly be made with maybe one plate if it was balanced somehow. This is another uh, picture of that single plate. And for one plate, if you had it machined, it would cost $348. For six of them, you could get them for $624 at $102 a piece. So the more pieces you have, the cheaper it is in the long run. Most of the expense is up front having them set up to do the machine work. So you can see that there would be some pretty pretty expensive parts in those things. The next one that I'm going to be talking about is a, a four-cylinder one that is made with a ring that rotates around the outside and it has what I call push-pull valves which uh, are a little different than the first ones you saw. Those were flat. These are round and they've got ports uh, turned into them so that air can go in and out where it needs to. And the pistons are uh, positively attached to the ring so that you don't have any slapping or, or noise. There's a bearing on the inside and on the outside of the ring to maintain that constant uh, connection. So I'll show you a short video of, of the, this one.
and here will be some of the drawings that I did to show you kind of how that looks. They look pretty complicated in this drawing anyway, but the next one I I kind of colored it a little bit so it's a little easier to see what what's there. There again, like I say, it's it's a four cylinder. The lower part down there would be used to increase the output speed to drive the transmission. Uh, on my five speed pickup truck, the Input speed has to be 2400 RPMs to be going 60 miles an hour, so I'm not sure what the gear ratio would have to be on this air engine to that output shaft, but that could be calculated, I guess, to get it to go 2400 RPM at a reasonable speed with the air engine. This is the ring that I made. I took a 12 inch pipe that I bought and I used an air grinder and I cut around the, the ring to produce this ring and then I ground it off and did the best I could to make it smooth and, and balanced. And in order to buy that ring or hash together, so again, you can see there's quite a few parts involved in this, and it's a simple motor. It would be very simple to do any maintenance on it or repairs. Nothing is hard to get to, and I think it would be a, a very good engine to, to work on and to have. So f for now, I'm going to go ahead and sign off. But once again, if you think you would enjoy hearing and, and seeing some of the things that I've done over the years, you would be able to see what I've done. I still have several that I need to talk about, and I'll be going over those in the near future. But until then, if you have any comments or suggestions, I would appreciate putting those on the video and It'll give us something to talk about in the future, and maybe you can add some things to, to help. So, for now, goodbye.